Hi, I'm Stu Phillips, and this is the second video for Boris's training. So in the first video, it was all about retrieving and then developing the retrieve onto a search. And uh, we've done that in uh, lots of different environments. We started off in a field, getting him to retrieve in long grass. Um, and then we uh, went into some buildings and some other outside areas and, just, and it was just a case of retrieving. Then we developed that into a search, so we wanted him to use his nose rather than his eyes to actually search for the Kong. So that was in the, uh, in the first video with Boris. We've moved on again now, and we, this is the third stage, if you like, and we're trying to develop an indication. He can't get at the Kong now, so he, uh, he, he searches for the Kong and finds it but he can't get it, he can't retrieve it um, and bring it back. So now he has to, to we have to develop the indication and uh, that's what this video is about today. So in the first part of this video, you'll see him uh, retrieving what we did before, um, then searching for it and he can, uh, he can get at the Kong and bring it back to us after searching for it and finding it. And now what we're doing is we're, we're trying to develop an indication. So the Kong is hidden, he can't get at it, um, and he's got to indicate. So the way that I've done that is I've brought uh, sent consoles into the search area. So initially we've started just doing a normal search with him. He finds the Kong and he can bring it back to us. And then um, I've put some sent consoles in and we've used a smaller Kong in one of the sent consoles and this time he has to, to indicate so this is the first time we've done this with him and this is about developing his indication and we're also introducing a clicker now as well so that's what you'll see in this second video with Boris Good lad, Boris. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Boris. Good lad. Good lad. Yeah. Thank you. 
Good lad. Good boy, Boris. So that's uh, Boris. Um, hopefully you've seen some progression in his training. Um, in this video, you've seen him uh, retrieving and searching. And then today I've uh, introduced some scent consoles to try and develop an indication. And also, um, this is when I've introduced the clicker to him as well. Um, so everybody's different. Some people do it different ways. Uh, some trainers like to teach an indication before they teach a dog to search. Everybody's different. This is just one of the methods that I use. I'm quite happy with what Boris has done today. Um, when he found the target console in the search area with the uh, with the small Kong in it, uh, naturally he's, he's come across it and he's basically frozen, stood still with his nose in the console and then we've marked it and then he's been rewarded with a Kong away from the target console. Um, sometimes he's pawed at the console, uh, scratched it and turned it over. If he has, I've waited until he's steady, not touching it. Um, and then marked and obviously rewarded with him with a Kong. I'm really happy with what he's done uh, so far. Um, he's still a young dog. He's not doing this every day. I'm in no rush to train this dog. Um, he's doing this maybe two or three times a week. Um, so I'm really happy with his progress. I hope you've seen some, uh, some uh, development um, since the first video with him. Um, and uh, we'll do another video uh, when we do the next few stages of training with him.